Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have something exciting to share with you all and that is the world or hood or whatever you want to call it of Feverfew for The Sims 2. And yeah, I've been playing The Sims 2 a lot recently. Um, I would say the past couple months now. And it's a whole thing if you're interested in knowing why I'm playing The Sims 2 and why the content on my channel was something else and all that kind of thing at one point <laughs> you can go ahead and watch the rebranding video i uploaded prior to this video but i don't want to get into that in this video because this is all about fever few so i don't know if you guys know about fever few but this is a hood that i have been waiting for when it comes to its release for about I would say a year, a year and a half to two years maybe. It is about two years that I've been waiting for this, for this, I keep wanting to call it a world, but for this hood to release. Um, I have been on the edge of my seat for like two years just waiting for this thing to release because I was like just obsessed with the way it looked. It reminded me of rural England or Ireland or I don't know about Scotland, but um, definitely the English countryside. I have been to England. Um, this world really, really, really reminds me of that. And I don't know if that was their intention um, when creating the world, but that's what it reminds me of. So we're just going to go ahead and read the Tumblr post about it. This is Feverview, a Sims 2 pre-decorated custom neighborhood with 25 pre-made lots. So okay, so here we're just going to read some of the important information. So disclaimer, this neighborhood was created as very as a very specific project with a very specific gameplay theme and limitations. Please note that the subhood version of Feverfew as well as standalone packed up lots are not included in this download and will be released separately in the future. If you're looking for an average, most universal, all-purpose neighborhood, then probably downloading Feverfew might not fit your requirements at all. There are some visual issues with the terrain and lot mode, mode due to the difference between neighborhood terrain geometry and lot skirt terrain geometry. The curved section of the canal looks terribly wrong in lot mode. There's no way to fix that. Fever View is a fantasy kind of Maxis match world with a, with a specific architecture theme, loosely based on an average British rural small town aesthetics. The main feature is the complex and detailed use of neighborhood decorations. Many items were created especially for this neighborhood and may be useless outside Fever few. Okay. It is a quiet little place to live. Yeah, British rural small town. That's what I was thinking because that's what it looks like, which is like, oh, I'm so excited about that. Speaking of lots, the neighborhood comes with 25 pre made lots. Most of them were built with the intention of providing well pronounced exterior, while the interior is very basic and often inefficient in terms of gameplay. The whole idea of this approach is to encourage player to make over lot interiors to their liking, which I'm perfectly okay with because I do that all the time anyway i mean anytime i download a hood i always guaranteed 99.9% .9 of the time go in there and switch things up because i'm just i'm a little anal okay so <laughs> so this is the higher resolution map of feverfew even though it doesn't look like it's higher resolution let me see open image in a new tab here we go okay so this is what Feverfew looks like, apparently. Terrace Hill, Good Yield, Vale, Mole Hill. Dittany Fells. Um, Oxai Forest. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Yeah, you can see why I wanted to download this world. I mean, look at this. A lot of it is Hood Deco, which, you know, is fine. Um, but I mean, like, look at this world. Hold on. Let's see. Do they have more pictures? No, they don't. Oh my gosh, but anyway, you'll see it when I load it. Uh, preparing for installation requires some custom company made by other. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this in my game. I'm gonna link this um, page to the description if you wanna go ahead and download it for your Sims 2 game. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and download it and then we'll load up the game and see what it's like. Okay, so it took me about two hours to download all of the custom content that I didn't already have. And honestly, at this point, I don't even know if I have everything 
because there were certain things like the unified bridges set for example by Cricut that said I had to download the documents that I had to download it and so I found that bridges set in my downloads already and so I had to go back and forth to see what I did have what I didn't have what I needed to download and things like that um luckily my mods folder is pretty organized so I was able to like find things easily but at the same time I do misplace things sometimes because I'm just in a rush or I'm just not I'm just impatient you know um but yeah, I don't know if I have absolutely everything I need. I'm crossing my fingers that I do. But anyways, so here we have Feverfew. Um, so yeah, it took me like two hours to download everything that I needed. It was intense. Um, it takes a while. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'm so excited. Oh my god not spoiled by free will that is the motto of the town of feverfew which sits on the banks of the river season in vervain wart borough there's so much custom content holy crap um and i don't know how big the world is we're gonna find out together um i haven't logged on to the world this is my first time seeing it ever um, I don't know what the lot size is. I don't remember reading anything about that on the page. I don't know if I said lot size. I meant world size or hood size. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how big this is. So um, we're going to find out because I'm thinking about all the people with like lower end computers who want to download this. I don't know. Oh, okay, we have a lot of blue flashing. Disappointed! Okay, everyone, so we are back and we are here in Feverfew and everything seems to be working. The church is in place, the sidewalks and the streets are in place and everything. Now, I think what happened, I originally, um, I had loaded all, I had loaded the world and had edited a couple of things already and then... I would go in there were things that i was missing like different sidewalks and stuff like that like this whole vervain thing even though i was absolutely positive i didn't miss that but i guess i did but um yeah so i was missing a couple of things and i exited the game after i had like moved a couple of neighborhood decorations and then i went ahead and downloaded that stuff extracted it yada 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 and then i came back into the game and that stuff was still missing and call me an idiot, I deserve it to be honest, but I thought that by just extracting the objects, you know, into the folder, into my downloads folder and starting the game up again, it would automatically just be replaced, but it didn't. Yeah, I just was like, you know what? Let me just delete the neighborhood from my neighborhood folder and then like reinstall it and see if that fixes it. And that fixed it. So if you do run into that problem where you're missing a couple things and then you extract those things into your folder and restart it, delete the neighborhood completely from your neighborhood folder and then start it again or and install it again and then restart it and that should fix it. So um, yeah, this is Feverfew and I am obsessed wow this is the most realistic immersive hood i have ever downloaded and probably am ever going to play in um until i build my own hood obviously which is something that i'm currently working on and i'm back and forth about making videos about it i feel like i want to but then at the same time i'm like i don't know i don't know but anyway there is a lot of clipping as you can see here um yeah, there's a lot of clipping, there's a lot of overlapping, a lot of like texture glitches and things like that, but I'm absolutely okay with that. That doesn't bother me at all. It may bother some people, but it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but like, look at how the fact that this world, the landscape is like hilly, you know what I mean? Like we have this here and then we go down look at this little like dip you know what i mean look at these little dips like that's so 
Look at this. Wow. That is so realistic. This little like dip here where you see. Look at this. I just, I love that. I love that. So this is an actual lot because it's blurry. So that's cool. There are 25 lots in this world, apparently. Um, this is an empty one. There was something. So I'm seeing Feverview Cottage Hospital, Northern Airship Co. I'm just kind of like scrolling the mouse like Yards Quay. I don't know what that is. Um, just kind of dragging the mouse in different places. Parsley Dock. Some blokes, some blokes motor repairs. That's funny. I can't wait to like be in the world. And the thing that I love about Hood CC, especially Cricket stuff, because Chris, Cricket is just a master. Like Cricket builds things that are like, okay, so this seems like it could be an apartment actually. And I remember them mentioning something about that, but um, yeah, they are just a master at hood decoration, CC. Like, this is the sports hall. That's deco. Um, their stuff is super high quality. Yeah, and like seeing their stuff from neighborhood view, or I'm sorry, lot view is like village green. There's a house. It's just so much fun and again, so immersive. Oh my god, these lots are like hard to spot, my friend. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. There's also a lot, or like a little town. How do you get to this part of town, by the way? Oh, you go through here, and then you cross the bridge. Wait, what? Wait, no, there's a road going all through the valley here. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Okay, I love that, I love that. Okay, so I just enabled the cheats. What is this? Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm sorry, I just got distracted by this like crack in the... Wow, look at that. That's wild. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I just enabled cheats. Another thing I'm gonna... Don't merge NH Flora false. That way when we are in lot mode, we can see all of this beautiful stuff from our lot, right? And now Cricket said to throw this cheat in. I don't know if it's false or true. I'm just gonna click on false, but it's bull prop display neighborhood props false. So what happens? Okay, so these are the lots. Okay, these are the lots. So we have this lot here this lot here, this lot, this lot here, this one, this one. Okay, so let's go over these lots, okay? Now that we can actually see them. Um, okay, so we have the Yards Quay, Some Blokes Motor Repairs, Parsley Dock. I don't know what they are though. Small public warehouses for your sailing needs. That could be like a good retail shop for certain things, I feel like maybe, I don't know, it depends. Another thing that I read, about these about this town by cricket is that they left a lot of the lots empty or like very minimally furnished so that we can go in and i feel like i mentioned that i read that in the intro of this video but or the beginning of this video um so yeah you can kind of turn which is what i do anyway like i mentioned you can kind of turn everything the way you'd like it to be like you know what i mean okay anyway um, that's a mechanics shop. And then we have this, which is just residential sports hall. I'm guessing that could be like a gym kind of thing. Um, hospital, Northern airship. Like, what is this? Okay. It's tourist information office, cafe, gift, and bookshop all in one. Cool. Okay. Church square is like a park in a way, I feel like. Um empty lot residential residential camping grounds residential empty lot residential village green i think that's a pub if i'm not mistaken okay so let's just take a quick look at these lots i can't guarantee that i'm i mean i personally am gonna look at um all of them <laughs> obviously 
but I can't guarantee that I'm gonna throw them all in this video because obviously it's gonna take a while. So let's go ahead and go into Northern Airship because that has the most stuff. So this is, what was it? Northern Airship Co or something? Look, they even made their own like signs. Do you see this? Oh my God, look at like the tourist information. Like, look at the tourist information. <laughs> look at this. Wow, this is like, uh, the attention to detail, my friend. Look at this is like blocked off with a little like, oh my God, I can't, I can't. Okay, so. This is the inside. It has even has this thing. What, what are these called again? I forgot. It even has the map of Feverfew. And it says, you are here. I can't. Look at these like tourist pamphlets. Look, it even has like a little... <laughs> I'm like, I'm flabbergasted. I literally can't believe it even has... Are those for sale? It has to be because here's a register. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. You've got to be kidding me. I'm guessing this is the cafe. Yeah. See, I don't know why that's there. I have this mod. Um, it doesn't work with islands, though. Yeah, I have this mod that makes it so that... And look, the fever few. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have this mod that makes my... That makes it so I can throw the barista thing like anywhere pretty much um wow this is like unbelievably realistic it's like gorgeous um so you go up and this is like the office for the owner i'm guessing or the employees or whatever okay so this is the village green oh what happened oh there okay so let's go ahead and go into tab mode and see what this looks like this is so cute. I like how they built the pub. I'm guessing this is a pub because that's what it looks like to me. I love how they built the the lots into the actual deco. You know what I mean? That is so cute how they did that. I would have never thought of that. Just the creativity is like beyond me, my friend. I like guess it's just like, the thing is like you can't really, you have to like, because I like playing with my walls up because I like it to be, again, like, immersion like to be immersed in it is like a thing for me so um <clears throat> probably gonna have to play with the walls down in this one so my thing is okay here we go yeah the ceiling um so it's a little pub it seems like because it has a bar here i definitely am gonna fix it up a little bit though um just because i like a certain look with my pubs okay it's just my thing um but i mean it's cute or whatever you know so it has a little like kitchen here and yeah so that is that um this is the green obviously like you can turn this into a park of some sort where shall we go next let's see i'm gonna go to one more lot um, I don't want to go into the residential lots because I feel like they are going to be sparsely decorated and you know what I mean? Like if you want to see the residentials in your own, in your own game, you can go ahead and do that. But let's go to the bathing spot. Okay. This is cute. Okay. So this is the bathing spot. I love how just like, I love how neatly it's decorated or it's like, you know, the architecture of it, but also, yeah, how it's decorated, of course. Ugh, this really bothers me. This really bothers me. It's because of this, like, fence thing. There isn't much I can do about that, though. Oh, well. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so the inside looks like this. Once again, we don't have any counters. Let's go ahead and just throw in some random. Um, and it has a kitchen here as well. And it actually has a hosting station, so, um, yeah, and then we go down here. 
I love like all the split level stuff. I think that's so cute. Um, it has a little bar. Oh my god, this is adorable. It's adorable. So it has a bar, it has a kitchen, and it has a cafe. And then you can sit out here and relax in a lounger if you'd like. Or you can go ahead and take a swim in the Cezanne River. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but anyway. Look at this. Wow. Gosh, this is like so unbelievably detailed. It's like wild to me. Okay, so I'm curious to see what this looks like at night. So I'm going to go ahead and it's probably going to take a long time. Look at this. Oh my God. Even the little tower lights up. Wow, uh, it's so beautiful at night. Look at that, it's so alive. See, this is what I'm talking about. Even the church lights up at night, look at that. Wow, look at this, you guys. <gasps> the trees have little lights. Oh my God, look at these little like, oh. Look at this. Look at that! Wow! The little shops light up. It's a little bookshop. Oh my god. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that this whole shopping district is deco. That's the only thing that kind of bothers me. So I may go in and like remove one or two and kind of just replicate that you know what i mean and like actually make them a bookstore and all that kind of thing so but yeah wow look and like there's just so much to look at it's wild like this is like hopscotch i mean the detailing the detailing is what makes me like wow just wow Anyway, though, um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have all of the links to everything I mentioned here and the download for Fever Few in the description. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.